Have you ever wondered why every autumn the world seems to explode into a vibrant tapestry of reds, yellows and oranges? It's a breathtaking spectacle. But what's really happening inside those leaves? It all comes down to a bit of fascinating plant chemistry. Throughout the spring and summer, leaves are green because of a pigment called chlorophyll. Think of chlorophyll as a tiny solar panel. It captures sunlight and uses its energy to turn water and carbon dioxide into sugar, which is the tree's food. This process is called photosynthesis. Chlorophyll is so dominant that it masks all the other colors that are already present in the leaf. As summer fades and autumn arrives, the days get shorter and the nights get cooler. This is a signal for the tree to start preparing for winter. The tree begins to slow down its food production and gradually breaks down the chlorophyll in its leaves. As the green fades away, the other pigments that were there all along finally get their moment to shine. These are the carotenoids and xanthophylls. They are responsible for the brilliant yellows and oranges we see in trees like aspens, birches and hickories. These pigments are always in the leaf, but they are completely overpowered by the green chlorophyll during the growing season. So when the chlorophyll disappears, it was like pulling back a green curtain to reveal a stunning golden backdrop that was hidden behind it. But what about the deep reds and purples we see in maples, sumacs and dogwoods? These colors come from a different set of pigments called anthocyanins. Unlike carotenoids, anthocyanins are not present in the leaf all year. They are newly produced in the autumn. As the tree prepares for winter, it creates a layer of cells at the base of the leaf stem to seal it off. This traps sugars inside the leaf. Bright sunlight and cool nights trigger a chemical reaction that converts these trapped sugars into red and purple anthocyanin pigments. The intensity of these autumn colors can vary from year to year. A season with plenty of warm sunny days and cool, but not freezing, nights will produce the most spectacular display of reds. A cloudy or overly warm autumn might result in more muted yellows and browns. So the next time you're out enjoying a crisp autumn day, take a closer look at the leaves. Each color tells a story of sunlight, sugar, and a tree's clever preparation for the long winter ahead. It's a beautiful natural process that reminds us of the constant change and renewal happening all around us. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the wonders of the natural world.